episode of Epic Generation Cooking Battle. Last week we saw three teams battle it out with appetizers. Let's take a look back at their dishes. with mild green chili peppers, cottage cheese, and Monterey Jack cheese. I never made this before, but I'm taking the risk for the team. Hi, my name is Kyle. Today I'm going to be making a pretzel appetizer with a sesame seed toppings. Mm. No, this actually tastes like pretzels. Let's meet our judges once again. Chef Richie is a multi-entrepreneur who owns and operates her own business, Chiatopia, specializing in cakes, treats, and desserts. She is also the head baker of Crane Express Catering and Co. You can catch Chef Richie on Food Network's Larger Than Life baking competition show, The Big Bake. Chef Andre was a finalist on MasterChef Canada Season 6 and is now on Season 7. His Caribbean cooking style is usually daring and unique and draws inspiration from his family, whether it be Jamaican, Filipino, or Indian. Okay, we've had a good start so far. The appetizers look so good already. I can't wait to see what the juniors are coming up with for their main dishes. I'm getting hungry, are you? Okay, let's go see what our chefs are up to. My name is Maria from the Green Team, and today I'll be making a bacon chicken Alfredo lasagna roll. I'm sure you'll love this dish, as it has crispy bacon on the outside and creamy chicken Alfredo on the inside. For this dish, you'll need garlic, Parmesan cheese, parsley, shredded chicken, heavy cream, mozzarella cheese, lasagna sheets, bacon, and spinach. First, layer your bacon slices like this. sauce. First add some butter in a pan and wait for it to melt. Then add your garlic and wait for it until it's golden brown. Then after that you can wait to pour in the rest of the ingredients. Now that our garlic is brown we can crank up the heat and start adding our cream and other ingredients. Now that our cream has started to boil let's add our parmesan cheese and some parsley. We can also add some salt and pepper for taste. Now that we're done with our Alfredo sauce, we can mix all of our chicken inside another bowl and half of our Alfredo sauce to get a creamy chicken consistency. Now that we're done with our chicken, we can layer them on top of the lasagna sheets. After that, add some mozzarella cheese on top and some spinach to go with it. Now time to roll it all up. 
Afterwards, place it on top of the bacon and roll that up too. My dad will help me with this part. Now, time to bake. Bake it at 400 degrees for 25 minutes. Now we have our finished product, our bacon chicken alfredo lasagna. Why don't we have a peek inside and have a bite? The chicken and alfredo sauce give a really nice taste together. The bacon gives it a crisp, crispy texture and they both pair really well with each other. I hope you guys will try this and have a wonderful evening. Happy cooking! popular Italian dish, the shrimp linguine carbonara. This Roman dish traces its origin to the region of Lazio and dates back to the Second World War. Over the years, we have seen many variations of the traditional recipe, which is good. The only thing that matters in order to achieve a flavorful and creamy carbonara is to make sure that the eggs do not cook to look like scrambled eggs or too little to be raw and cold. Let's start. This dish is simple and fast to make and is good for four servings. Chop the pancetta in small strips. Then heat the olive oil in a frying pan. Add the minced garlic and cook for a minute on medium heat. Add the shrimps and cook until pink on all sides, about one to two minutes. Once shrimps are done, remove from the pan and set aside in a dish. In the same pan, add the pancetta and cook on medium heat. Stir fry it until crispy. Mmm, the smell of the pancetta is so good. While the pancetta is being cooked, boil salted water and cook the linguine until al dente. In a small bowl, beat egg yolks and add the grated parmigiano. Add a little bit of salt and ground black pepper. Set aside. When the linguine is cooked, get some, put it in the frying pan together with the pancetta over high heat. The fats from the pancetta will season the pasta to bring out more flavor. Give it a stir. Add the shrimps. Add a little of the pasta water and turn off heat. Move the pan off the burner. Quickly add the egg mixture into the pan. Stir. Make sure that the pan is warm and not hot when the egg mixture is poured so the eggs will cook without lump and not end up as scrambled eggs. The carbonara is ready once the sauce thickens and the pasta is coated evenly. Plate it nicely. Garnish it with parsley, ground black pepper, and grated parmigiano. And this is the final product. Mmm, the taste is perfect. The texture is velvety. The pasta is al dente. You can really taste the meat. It's so flavorful. Really good. Buon appetito! From the red team and today I'm going to be making a cheesy and delicious 
Mexican lasagna. Here are the ingredients. To start off, add in your olive oil, then your ground beef. Break it up and then we're going to add our seasonings. Now add in your salt, your dried oregano, your coriander, and last, your chili powder. And let it simmer till it turns brown. Now that it is cooked, let's put it in a bowl. Put it aside, and now we are going to cook our vegetables. First, put in your olive oil, then your garlic. Stir it a little bit. And now add in your onion. And now add in your red pepper. And now that the onion and red pepper is now soft, we are going to add in our diced tomato. And now that our veggies are cooked, we are going to put it in a bowl. And now that all of our ingredients are cooked, we're going to assemble the lasagna. First, add in a layer of tortillas in a baking dish. Now spread refried beans on each tortilla. Now put ground beef on each tortilla. Now put your vegetables on top of the ground beef. Now spread cheddar and mozzarella cheese on top of the veggies. Now let's do another layer. Now add a layer of tortilla. And now it's ready to bake. Preheat your oven to 350. And now the lasagna is ready to be served. And now to try it. Mmm, that's delicious. You can taste all the meat, all the veggies, and it's so cheesy. And that's my Mexican lasagna. Hope you enjoyed, bye. in the kitchen when we come back.